so hello there my fellow developers and in this video we are going to start to code oh wait a minute what's this oh yes so uh, when we installed when we ran the create react app uh, it basically created this uh, it initialized git so that you can commit changes and then yeah you can so commit the changes so let's do that so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, what should we do yeah delete let's not commit okay let's not commit let's keep it okay so uh, let's start code let's start to code now let's make it uh, let me make it smaller so smaller than we need okay so we have our app running right here in the web browser and we just have an h1 with the app so what you need is we need the material ui so let's uh, go to material ui.com now you want the material ui so what you would do is go to getting started installation if you want to use it in react so you can just install this package with npm so let's do that let's open up the terminal and it's basically running the running this so let's go ahead and add a terminal and inside of this folder okay as you can see react to do app i can say npm install i for short okay and then it's at material ui code let me copy this from here let's copy it and let's paste it okay and just press enter so it will basically install material ui the, the core uh, thing okay and you can also use the roboto font we can use that and yeah in the ready project i have uh, used basically the uh, the the standard sans serif font so i think this is the robot of font that comes with it okay so so this is the font okay i have not changed anything in fonts yeah i have changed it here so it's monospace font and what you have here is we have the icons so you can install the icons now inside of here i have used the um, material icons so if i add a to do this is a material icon this is a material icon even this is a material icon right here the plus so if you want you can use material icons that i'm going to use and uh, yeah it's installed now or even font awesome okay there is uh, right here you can search for it font awesome uh, and you will get them okay icon font icons font awesome but we are going to use material icons for this let's close this tab and let's start with this okay we need to reopen the closed tab because we need to take a look at the project so we are not gonna apply this theme and this link right now we'll apply this uh, the to do form okay so we'll do that we'll do these things afterwards so let's do that okay let's do the to do form first so what you need to do is let's create a component okay but what I do is I create a new folder inside of the source folder called components components so that my components uh, stay different from app.js and index.js so let's create a new file so this will be to do form to do form dot jsx okay now creating a functional component we can just copy and paste everything from here but i'm going to use that snippet uh, from that extension that i showed to you which is the react redux uh, it's es7 yeah es7 react redux okay so uh, a snippet is called raf rafce so basically this creates your functional component so to do form okay it also gives you the name so to do form what do we need oops what do we need inside this to do form well a form with an input tag and then this button what else okay just that so let's import material ui because that's what we are going to use but not just material ui okay we need to import many things from it so let's go to their website and let's search for uh, where is the search yeah here it is so form control api okay 
and so we need to import this uh, we, we are going to destruct destructure everything so let's go here and I can say import and then destructuring if you don't know destructuring then learn that first of all so that you can understand add material UI code so basically we are going to import one thing from this uh, package okay so that's what destructuring is so taking out one thing okay so I'm going to say form form control it's uh, form control okay so we have imported form control and uh, so now to create to use a form basically what you need to do is um, uh, what I did is I create yeah let's import container also so that's what we are going to use again <laughs> another thing so instead of this div I'm going to use the container component so let's take container inside the container component we are going to put everything that's that's uh, that we want so let's go inside of the container component and here I am going to add a form tag okay so form tag now you'll be thinking why to add a form tag why we have the form control uh, I tried but adding a form tag was better okay trust me so I am adding a container and then I'm adding form inside of that container so in uh, inside of the form we are going to add form control okay and then inside of the form control we'll add a text field so let's add a text field wait we have not imported it yet so let's import text field okay so text field is basically input okay nothing else so let's add text field and this will be a self closing tag because a self closing component because it's just an input and we need to add some props okay basically props means some some attributes to it so we'll add a label prop so label equals and then we'll add uh, so instead of the label we are going to add the what's here okay I will do this so let's go here and I'm going to say I will do this and we have an asterisk here so basically this is because of required okay so we can add required equals and then curly braces true why are we using curly braces well we are using curly braces because um it's the true true is basically a javascript expression okay so we need to wrap javascript expressions inside of the curly braces so required true and that's it for now okay we are just going to create the ui for now um now let's add a now let's add the button so the button will be basically imported from material ui again so let's import button and let's go here and we are going to say button okay and then we are going to add some props um, so they, they will be so I'm going to add a variant prop so variant equals standard so this will be a standard button and then we are going to add a color prop that will be primary okay then the type will be submit okay let's save this file uh, we are exporting this right here so let's import it inside of our app.js so I'm going to import um, to do no we need dot slash okay uh, dot slash components let's go slash to do form okay and the module name will be to do form now we have imported it and let's use it here so instead of this h1 app let's put the to do form component and let's save this and then if we go to the web browser it's uh, saved but it does not get refreshed so maybe we get we might we have some errors let's go to the first terminal yeah it's compiling and once it's compiled it won't take a lot of time to do that so we have this form now this is looking pretty ugly uh, so what we need to do is we need to apply some more things okay right here let's close this out we don't see the button because basically we don't have any text for in between this button so let's say add to do save and now if you take a look it will uh, compile it and then refresh the page so you see the button okay it's 
good looking button with the material effect so when you click it uh, it says add this field so if I add something and then add to do it refreshes the page because we have the form submitted okay or uh, type submit so let's go to the container and then let's add max width equals SM means max width equals small and basically that will center it let's go to the form control and let's add full width equals oops equals true now we added the javascript expression true so that's why we are wrapping it in curly braces so full width prop what it does is it makes this uh, full width okay as you can see now why i don't know why are we not getting this button to be uh, blue There's something missing let's go here right here and let's search for a button I don't know what's wrong let's see so we have this primary button let's let's first of all copy this I don't know why it wasn't working so let's copy it let's go here and let's paste it let's save this and uh, we should see a blue button now I don't know why it wasn't working I think some uh, yeah variant contain maybe uh, that might be the problem so let's add add to do what I do basically is I just copy and paste the components from uh, material UI's website uh, and now if you want the add symbol you want you need to install material UI icons that will do later okay not right now so right now we are just uh, with we're just okay with this okay button let's add um, some margin okay so let's go to the button and let's add style prop and this will have basically two curly braces because the style prop will have an object inside of it okay so let's go in here and I can add margin top equals uh, oops not equals but this is an object so let's add for example 15 save and we'll take a look it will be pushed it will be pushed down let's add 10 instead save and then take a look it's a bit more like this yeah let's do five so yeah this looks perfect okay so this looks uh, perfect like this so if I add for example anything if I click this button nothing happens we'll add the functionality later on okay so now let's uh, see how our app will look like we created a component basically and then we are using that component inside of our app component so let's say let's add it to do so for example play cricket whatever now what we are doing is we are basically having this whole app component let me make it full screen so that you can understand so we are having this whole app component inside of the app component we are having this component which is theme switcher so that basically changes the theme let's keep dark theme the so theme switcher we have the theme switcher right here we have the link which is uh, which is just a link I'm not I'm not um, made a separate component for this now this is a different component and then if I add one more to do for example play chess so this is whole component let's add some more to do's like with a just random text okay so this is a to do container component okay which contains all of the to do's and inside of the to do com container component we have each to do so that's what we are going to do we are going to do <laughs> inside uh, in this series basically so adding a to do inside of e inside of the to do container component when the form is submitted it's re required right here okay so that's it for this video guys uh, we made the component uh, we made the add to do component yeah we can change it to add let's do that because add to do it's a pretty long name <laughs> okay let's change it to add and then that's fine keep it add so it's it looks pretty much the same because of the because of the code and you can uh, check the code at github so if i go to github i i have provided this link down in the description below so yeah that's it for this video we'll uh, make the make this component uh this 
to do container component and then a to do component inside of this in the next video so stay tuned hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to not to miss anything and if you have any doubts or uh, if you get any kind of errors just let me know in the comments below and i'll try to solve them okay and that's it for this video guys hope you like it share it with others finally thanks for watching